y'all it's your girl dr nina and keeping in the spirit of positivity today we're going to be talking about those ways that you can find your passion and your purpose many of y'all have asked me that either by email or by messaging i have heard so many of you guys say to me i just need to find out my purpose how do i get started so i'm gonna help y'all out with that but first off i want to say thank you so much for all the love on the now that's life podcast with dr nina y'all have played this thing in almost 40 countries at this point in less than a week's time i am so blessed i feel like the purpose that i had for this is there so if you have not checked it out yet make sure that you check out all the links below for the places you can find it like itunes and spotify as well as google Podcasts. join in this journey with me and in fact i posted a new little quick episode this morning so get on over there for your quick little off the cuff check-in your life purpose is like your central motivating aims it's the reason why you get your behind up in the morning and it's not always something that's easy but it's definitely something that brings you a fire a light it also fuels what we do later in life. It influences what we decide to do with all parts of our lives and even the people we connect with. Passion, on the other hand, gives you something to build the rest of your life around. It's something that starts to make you feel like you have something to live for. A lot of people like to say that doing what you love makes work effortless, but really it puts you to work. That's your passion. Your passion you'll work for. You'll do everything you need to. You'll pull all-nighters. You'll connect with the right people. You'll get your network straight. So the passion is really helping to fuel that transportation line that is your purpose. That's what we're talking about today is how to find that passion and your purpose for your life, for your career success, for your achievement. And I'm going to make sure I leave y'all with some good pointers and tips while I have you. Make sure you thumbs up this video if you like it. Comment, share, and subscribe to this channel and also my vlog channel. Make sure that you come back on all Thursdays and some Sundays for video uploads. And also be sure to turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload. Tips number one, read and do research and stop waiting on people to do it for you. A lot of times we sit up and we wait for other people to tell us what our passion and purpose should be. But what we don't realize is we're missing out on a lot when we don't read. Anytime you're doing research, anytime you're looking up something strengthening your mind gaining clarity then you are reading you are gaining more knowledge sit and schedule time every week where you read about something you're interested in the more you read about things you're interested in the more you're exposed to different levels of what you can become I didn't become a psychologist because it just happened to me I read about it what do psychologists do what are the differing areas even being a professor what do professors actually do I had to research I had to study to to show myself approved and that's exactly how you equip yourself with the best knowledge possible the other thing you can do is turn those hurts into healing points some people find purpose in suffering while others are crushed by it a lot of times we don't allow ourselves to grow we don't allow those hard parts to happen to us because of that we cheat ourselves out of finding our purpose the hardest things i've come through are the reason why i am who i am today they have built my life they built my career my successes and my achievements i was not looking for career success per se but i was looking for a way to be my best me and a lot of that came from not only my own suffering but paying attention to the suffering of others what do they need help with even coming to you guys and talking about my fitness journey and my weight loss journey was a big part of that because that's a pain point for a lot of people instead of me keeping that information and that knowledge to myself I found joy in teaching the hard parts as well as the good parts I was able to turn that fear those problems any issues I had with myself into motivation I was also able to instill that into other people to take what had happened to me that might have been negative share that with others, allow them to share their story with me so that I could better equip myself with more knowledge to help them and others on their journey. So you wanna become a part of something that awes you and adds to your thankfulness and your generosity. We gotta stop looking to get something every time we do something. In order to find your passion and your purpose, a lot of times it takes so much time, trial and error, that you're not gonna get rewarded immediately. So going to school for me, 10 years. And after that, I still had to do postdoc work. So it's been a long journey. And I wasn't always rewarded along the way, but I had to learn that everything I was doing was building to a greater goal. My purpose was coming because I was learning more about myself and others on a journey to greatness. 
and that takes time. And now I'm able to share a wealth of knowledge with you. Children and adults who are able to count their blessings are much more likely to try to contribute to the world beyond themselves. And this happens because if you see how much you're giving actually helps others, even one person, it makes you more likely to do it more often. Research has also found that those who volunteer more, donate more, and give more usually find themselves feeling even better about themselves, their purpose, what they do, and they feel like they have direction and goals in life. The next thing is to listen to others speak and hear what they appreciate the most about you. A lot of times we don't take into consideration the things that people say about us that are good. I know for me, I used to block compliments every time they would come. When people would be like, oh man, you a great speaker. I'd be like, oh, I'll just be talking. You know, every time somebody said something, I had to find a way to dumb it down a little bit, make it a little less than what it was. But what people were actually saying to me is, man, you're a person people listen to. When you speak, we listen. I had to listen to it. And even before I knew it, I didn't want to be a speaker. I didn't necessarily want to be a professor. However, I'm good at it and I started listening to other people say that they learn from me very easily and very well. And that was everyone from my own mother, to my friends, to my mother's friends, to others. I developed and I grew in that skill in order for it to be used at the proper and appropriate times. It's the same way you find any purpose that you have. You start to build more of a passion and a fire for it and it becomes your purpose. You continue to walk in your purpose. The next one is to find a mentor to help you advance and grow. I'm so excited about Dr. Nina's mentorships that are soon to come. Be on the lookout. What I want you all to learn about mentoring, it's not just a relationship to benefit you. When I first started really understanding mentorship, I was in college and I started to ask the people I wanted to mentor me how I could help them. You know how many other people are pulling at their coattails trying to get some information and knowledge from them? How can you be a blessing to them. Every mentor I had, I knew that their time was valuable. So you know what I did? I tried to get on their schedule. I tried to figure out things that I could do that would assist them, whether it was in their research, if it was in their business. I knew that I was being paid in knowledge. I knew that I was growing and also they benefited. They got work, they got help, they got a person that understood what they were doing, who could sometimes serve as a confidant. And guess what? Some of my mentors, I now help to mentor. So I've learned so much on my own that they respect me. But I couldn't have done that by pulling at them all the time. You can't ask for somebody to give you all their information and give them nothing. Find out what you can do for other people because you will find out what you can gain from that relationship. And boy, will you gain a lot. The next thing is to find and build a community. We don't always think about how everyone around us impacts us. You ever heard your parents say, birds of a feather flock together? When they saw some of your friends, they like, oh, is that what you're trying to become? The longer and longer you're in and around something, it's going to affect you. When you pour Kool-Aid into water, if it's purple Kool-Aid, all of it's gonna turn purple eventually. It's just how life works. Do you have anything in common with the people around you? What are they trying to be? What impact do you see them having on your world? Is that impact a positive one? Can you join with them in making that impact? Can you give them what they need? If the answers to those questions do not inspire you, you need to quickly move away from whatever network you're in. And I know a lot of times we like to make excuses, which are monuments of nothingness that build bridges that lead to nowhere, where we say, I only have what's around me. You can get to other places and do other things. You can still choose to hang with a crowd that can offer you a little bit more and a crowd that you can offer them a little bit more. But we have internet, we have phone, we have other ways and means of escape. Even if that's through educational television programming, finding something new that you enjoy, having a book shipped in that you can read. You have to limit your time with things that don't benefit you or your environment in order for you to soak up more knowledge and to become more passionate about your purpose. The last one is don't be afraid to tell your story. You all have helped me build my passion and my purpose just through YouTube. The fact that I was able to come on here, share my story about weight loss and my natural hair and my skincare, other lifestyle habits and benefits. I was able to learn and grow through that. You guys helped to shape my thoughts about myself. Even when I wasn't feeling the best about myself, I was able to come here, share knowledge and help along the way, which helped to better fuel my passion and my purpose. So the more you share your story, the more others can even tell you more about yourself. You can find out what you should focus more on. 
purpose often arises from curiosity about your own life. And there are four main points for that. What obstacles have you encountered? What strengths helped you overcome those obstacles? How did other people help you? And how did your strengths help make life better for others? So hopefully y'all can ask those questions and answer them. And if you're not finding purpose in what you think or hear yourself believing is your purpose or passion, you need to really reevaluate from that point. So I hope today has been very helpful to you guys. I know it's hard to find passion and purpose, but it's gonna be work. And I want y'all to understand that nothing about it is easy. So hopefully you will comment, share this video with someone who can use it and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching y'all. Beautiful brown baby doll, peace. Thanks so much for all the love and support over on my new website. If you haven't already, go ahead and check it out and join me for new ways to interact with me, giveaways and prizes, weekly emails, as well as my free eight day supernatural video course, which is free when you sign up.